Hi there, in this video, I'll be showing you how to create some sci-fi sounds, whooshes, and different textures all inside of Vital. And in this video, you're gonna be seeing me use some different wavetables that are not part of the original Vital uh, pack that you get when you download Vital, but they are a free pack that I actually created and put together of over 400 uh, wavetable sounds, almost 500 wavetables that you can get free. So I'll make sure to have a link in the description below if you're interested in getting them so that you can either follow along if you want or just use them to design in your own work. So with that said, let's get right into our project and get started. All right, so here we are inside of Reaper, and the first thing we're gonna do here is load up uh, Vital. Here's a initialized patch. I like to turn on the 3D map so I can see the wavetable here. And I like to assign LFO number one here to the wavetable just to scan through it, so I'm gonna do that with that. I'm gonna set it to seconds, and let's do a round two. We can play around with this later, but for now, that'll be good. The next thing that we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna quickly change up the envelope of our sound just so it's more of a whoosh envelope. Uh, it'll make a, our sound sound a little bit better. So around that is good, around one second release and around, I don't know, it doesn't really matter here, about 0.5 seconds for an attack. And now here, I'm gonna go and check out some of these wavetables here in my pack. And there, I know Growls has a couple here that I really like. So I'm gonna start off with this one here. All right, so that's a good place to start. Another thing you can do if you want here is to play around with a stereo a little bit. And this is just gonna make the sound a bit wider. So you have to be kind of careful with it because it can be a little bit too much. So I'm gonna set mine to around 0 0.02. All right, and this is our basic patch. After that, it's just a matter of adding some effects. And then after that, I'm gonna add some modulation just to make our patch a bit more complex. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on our effects tab here. And there's a few that you might wanna check out. And these are gonna be the chorus, compressor, distortion, and phaser. I like to keep mine in this order here, phaser and chorus uh, first. And then I like to have my multiband compressor and then my distortion after that. So for the multiband compressor here, I like to have it, the mix set at at least half, if not less. Uh, same thing with my distortion. I don't ha like to have it too much. And then I like to play around with either the linear fold or the heart clip just to see what kind of sounds I can get out of it. So let's just turn these two off. Let's see what we have with that. Right, and with that, I can actually maybe assign the LFO one here to our distortion and... All right, so that's pretty good. And then here with the chorus and the phaser here, you can play around with this a little bit too here. So I'm just gonna bring down the mix a little bit. Uh, seconds, I maybe I'll do a bit shorter. Right, I don't want it to be too present. It's more like a, a felt thing. Or maybe I'll take this off. All right, so that already sounds kind of good to me for now to start. This is, So this is a good first starting point here. Next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use LFO number two just to add a bit of variation to our uh, modulation. So right now uh, we have this LFO one, which is kind of controlling everything. I want a similar um, envelope here, but I want it to be a little bit different. So I'm kind of trying to line up our sounds here around the same points just so they sound similar. Again, I'm gonna do seconds and I'm gonna do about the same amount of time here as our LFO one here. So about two seconds maybe a little bit less. And this LFO2 here, we're actually gonna assign this to our two parameters up here, and this is what's gonna change up our sound of our wavetable here. So I'm just gonna start off with a vocode. All right, and just with that, you can already get a lot of change in your sound. From this point forward, Basically, everything that you're gonna do is just a matter of like experimentation and just trying out different sounds and sound combinations. So I like to try out, for example, for this second one here, I like to try out the bend and do a little bit like that. Here, I also, one of the effects that I like is the phased disperser here. Right, you get that really uh, liquidy kind of phasey sound, right? And after that, I just like to scan through the different files, the different wavetables that I have here. And I'm also gonna bring down the pitch here by two octaves because I find the best results, or at least the results I'm looking for, sound better around one to two octaves lower. So that way, um, it's just easier for me to play on my keyboard and get some good results right away. Right, with that, I can already get some cool sounds. And like I said, I'm just gonna experiment here with a few other ones. I know like, for example, the harmonic stretch here, I can get some cool results as well.
All right, so with that, you can get a lot of cool results. Just a few things that you might want to tweak and experiment with outside of uh, looking through the wavetables is going to be changing up the speeds of the different LFOs here. Usually for LFO 1, because you're just scanning, if you do it a bit slower, you just can get some different textures out of it. Right, so it can sound a bit more growly or just distorted. And for LFO number two here, this is just to change up the modulation of your effects up here. So this can also help to, depending on how short you want it. And then of course you're attacking and, and release here to get the envelope sound right for your watch that you're trying to create. All right, so I hope you found that useful and valuable and a reminder to grab the free uh, core wavetable pack. I'll make sure to have a link in the description below. All right, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching all the way through to the end. If you have any comments, questions, leave it down below. And if you want to see another video uh, on sound design inside of Vital, I'll make sure to post it right here on the screen. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.